Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Sienna and I'm a fourth year naturopathic medicine student in Seattle, Washington. I make videos all about naturopathic medicine, health, wellness, diet, fitness, and all of those good things. So if you're interested in any of those topics, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you follow my journey. Um, and also super exciting, I wanted to mention, I just launched my website. It's www.siennamillerwellness.com. Um, just kind of all things naturopathic medicine. I have a blog on there. I have my recent YouTube videos. I have my favorite products and apps and all of those things. Um, so don't don't forget to check that out if you're interested. I'll link it down below. Um, just a side note. <laughs> but anyway, today I'm going to be talking all about my third year of school. I just started fourth year um, and getting into the swing of that, so I thought it was a good time to talk all about third year. I made previous videos about first and second year, and I'll link those down below also if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so third year. Let me just start by saying how awesome third year is. <laughs> it's like it's like in medical school, you just have to like crawl through and just get through the first two years, and it's just like a constant grind and like beating you to the ground. Just like yeah, just so much, so much science and just like the nitty gritty of like the in and outs of how everything works and every detail and it's just it's just so much information dumped on you like for two years straight and you just have to get through it and then it's like third year's a reward at the end of the tunnel and I don't know or a light at the end of the tunnel and I don't know if it's the same for conventional medical school I know you, you start clinic after second year so I'm assuming it's sort of the same thing and we take we take the basic science boards right after second year, so it's like once that's done, it's just like such a relief. There's construction going on outside my apartment, so I, I apologize if that's distracting. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of like you finish those years, you get through boards, and then it's like, oh, third year. It's still challenging, and we still it's still a lot of work, but it's it's a lot more clinical. Um, it's it's a lot more of the day-to-day -day clinical presentations, what you're going to actually be seeing in clinic, how to actually manage those things, like, uh, versus just kind of, you know, the basic sciences, anatomy, biochemistry, immunology, um, pathology, all those things which are super important and, you know, you, you get through that the first two years and then you get to kind of go into the more day-to-day -day clinical side of things third year and fourth year and it's just it's great it, like it's, it's a reward because it makes me feel like more of a you know I'm actually becoming a doctor and this is actually what I'm gonna see and I made it this far so I just want to say that I love third year it was just like so nice after it, it felt like a lot easier after getting through the first two years so I just want to say that like keep going if you're struggling through the first two years, it's it is a grind, and you just have to get through it. Um, and then it just it just gets better after that, I think. So, um, I have my list in front of me, like always. I'm kind of I went through kind of based on different categories of classes in my last video, and that worked out pretty well. Um, first, so third year we start taking advanced systems classes. So first and second year we get an intro to all the different diseases and um, systems and everything like that and so we see those all again third year but it's a lot more advanced so we take advanced endocrine system advanced respiratory advanced um oh, they're not called advanced but it's just an endocrine system therapeutics digestive system maternity and pediatrics orthopedics um female reproductive we take each of those as separate courses and and they're usually about three to four hours long every week um, so like pretty, pretty big courses and it just gets a lot more advanced into all the different conditions and, and guidelines for management and diagnosis and then different treatment modalities you can do, follow up. Um, yeah, just a lot more in depth and, and what we're going to be doing on a day to day basis, diagnosing and managing all of those things within those systems. And then getting into modalities, we start botanical medicine formulations lab. So we take botanical medicine second year and we kind of, it's, it's a classroom setting more so. We're in the lab a little bit, but it's, it's more just learning about the herbs, how they work, indications, all those things. Third year we're in the lab and we have cases every week and we're formulating specifically for that case and for that patient 
every week. So we're, we're in, we're making the formulations in lab and being assessed by our um, professor in lab on our, on our formulations. Um, but a little weird, this, the past two quarters, everything's been virtual, so we haven't been able to make <laughs> the actual things, but we've been formulating, which is, it's, you know, kind of the same idea. We're still, we're still formulating, we're just not able, able to physically make them due to COVID. Next, we had medical procedures lab. This is where we learn different, um, like laboratory procedures, I guess. We did, we learned how to do IVs, injection shots all of those sorts of things. We did like blood draw and all the laboratory diagnostic testing second year and then third year we kind of learn more of the therapeutics and treatment and I think we, we take medical procedures to fourth year actually so we had medical procedures one and then then we have medical procedures to actually have it next quarter where we're doing sutures, lesion removals, cryosurgery so that, that's coming up this year actually. Um, next, we continued our series in pharmacology, which we started pharmacology first year, I believe. Take it all through second year, and then we take it all throughout um, third year, and then I'm, fourth, I'm a fourth year student, and I'm still taking pharmacology, so that just kind of goes on throughout the whole program. We finished our physical medicine series and our homeopathy series, which I talked about. We started that second year. Let's see, we took environment, environmental medicine as well where we learn about different environmental toxicities and diseases caused by um, just harmful chemicals, radiation, any um, chemicals in our food that can contribute to poor health and disease and how to you know, resolve those things via like detox and, and all those different principles. Um, we also have pediatric therapeutics all year where we learn um, all the therapeutics just for pe the pediatric population. So whatever systems we're learning about that quarter, we have a separate pediatric therapeutic class just specifically for, um, for children and how to treat children because um, oftentimes it's a lot different than treating um, adults. The dosing is different. You have, to, you have a lot more precautions you have to think about. So we have a separate pediatrics class every quarter. Um, and then last of modalities, modalities is diet and nutrient therapy, which is my favorite class. It actually just ended after, I believe, five quarters. Um, we finished at fourth year. Um, that was by far my favorite class, how to treat and um, support various conditions with diet and nutrients. And that's kind of my going to be my primary um, clinical focus because it's just, just amazing the things you can do with diet and nutrition. Uh, next moving on, we have a couple of business slash legal related classes, third year and still fourth year. We're kind of we're taking an advanced business class this quarter. I'm giving away so many things about the fourth year video, <laughs> just as a sneak peek. But anyway, so we have coding and billing. So um, in the medical profession, when you diagnose and do different procedures in the clinical setting, you they all have diagnosis codes, procedure codes, level of service, and that all formulates to the cost of the visit. So that all gets sent to your insurance, the patient's insurance company, and then the insurance company kind of deals with, you know, what's covered, what the patient's going to owe, all of those things. It's just, yeah, it's how we bill insurance and get paid for the visit through insurances, coding and billing. So we learn all about that and how to do that because we have to do that in our clinic. We take insurance in the state of Washington. So we have to know those things. And we also have jur jurisprudence, which is just a legal course, making sure we're practicing, um, you know, under the law, how to find different resources, scope of practice in different states, and just, um, you know, malpractice insurance, all those sorts of things, just so we're practicing in a legal and ethical way. <laughs> okay, and lastly was kind of, a, I didn't know where to put this one. I guess it's kind of clinical. We take advanced case studies, which was an awesome class, one of my favorite classes. The professor we have for that class um, at my school is just phenomenal, I think. So each week we would, um, she presents a case to us and we kind of walk through it how we would manage the case. So I mentioned in my second, we take integrated case studies um, second year and this is advanced case studies third year and honestly they're completely different. I don't know if it's just the professor but she she just um, presents it so well. So she'll say you know 38 year old female presents today with a skin rash you know how do you want to start? What do you what questions do you want to ask? What do you want to know? What physical exam do you want to do? And she, we kind of just progress through the case 
Uh, I really like, what I really like about that class is we can't use phones, computers, anything. So it just all, you know, has to come from somewhere in our brain and we just kind of work through it together. They're all patients that she has seen, you know, in throughout her years of practice. Um, obviously no personal identifying information is given, um, but they're all real patients so she can kind of go back to actually the real scenario and what happened and, you know, she goes through follow-up visits, so it's just like a very real kind of clinical case-based class that we can all just work on our, you know, um, clinical diet, like DDX management, all those different skills we can practice those each week in that class. I also don't want to forget to mention what we're doing in clinic third year, which I almost completely forgot. But third year we actually become secondary clinic. Blah, blah. Third year, we actually become secondary clinicians in our teaching clinic. So we're assisting a primary clinician, which is usually a fourth year. On certain shifts, third year, we are primary on physical medicine shifts. But on most shifts, we're secondaries. So we're helping out the primary with whatever they need. We're expected to prep for prep for the cases. We help with vitals. Um, we're taking notes in the interview, asking any additional questions we have, um, really just helping them with whatever they need. Even if we, you know, if we want to and if we've prepped for it, we can help contribute to the management and treatment plan. So it's just a lot more kind of hands-on the first, <laughs> I just threw my pen. Um, so like the first two years, it's more observation or we're kind of on the sidelines, just observing what's going on. Second year, we're actually in the visit with the patient, assisting in whatever way we can, practicing our physical exam skills and our vitals. Um, yeah, and that's pretty exciting. We, we have a total of six clinic shifts during third year. So that officially, that is it for third year. I hope you guys enjoyed. I probably probably will be making a fourth year video towards the end of my fourth year. I just started, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!